Hi guys, welcome back. Are you having a hard time staying focused and motivated with your New Year's resolutions that you made on January the 1st? Well, I have found some visual aids that can help you to stay focused and motivated. I've been using them now for the last three weeks and I can tell you that they have helped me a lot. I'm a visual person. I need to see things to help keep me on track, stay motivated, and these have helped me a lot. There are four different sheets that I use to help me stay motivated on my exercise goals. I only have one goal really, and that is to lose 70 pounds this year. So if you keep watching the video, you will see the sheets that I use. You might find them useful yourself, and if so, you can hit the link down below to my Google Drive where you can download blank copies for yourself and use them if you are a visual person like me and need something to help keep you motivated. Thanks for watching. Here is tip number one. I really like doing Lily Sabri's workouts. Her challenges are really great. She puts out a guide for every new challenge that she does. And there is a calendar for everything that is going to happen in the guides. And I really like it because it's super easy to follow along. And it helps me to mark off days. I'm able to make notes on exercises or days that I really, really enjoyed. This one here was the best workout that I've had. I really loved it. I burned the most calories I ever have during a workout. Um, I was able to make notes and it just helps me to keep up with everything. Helps keep me engaged, helps keep me motivated keeps me on track and I highly recommend that you do the same if you are having a hard time sticking to it every single day. I really like having this visual. I have it on a clipboard. It sits um, next to my chair in the living room which is where I exercise every day. So I see it every day and it helps to motivate me. And if you don't do Lily Sabri and you do another, follow another YouTuber, you can do something similar like this. You can just go to Google and search printable calendars, printable monthly calendars 2021. And you have your pick of all kinds of free monthly calendars that you can print out and you can do something similar to this to kind of help you if you need a visual. I'm a visual type of a person so it makes it so much easier for me to see it help keep me motivated especially when I'm looking at it every time every day. It just really helps keep me focused and motivated. So this is something that I suggest for somebody who needs a visual like I do. Here is tip number two. So for my goals for 2021, mine are mostly exercise based. I'm on a 70 pound weight loss journey and I really believe that if I continue to work out doing Lily Sabri's um, workout challenges, I really f believe that I can hit that goal. And my whole goal for myself is to make sure that I am exercising at least 75% of the time. And I came across this really cute um, tracking sheet that has all the months of the year with the appropriate number of days in each month and the whole idea is if I exercised on that day I just color it in 
So here I did the Lily Sabri Linda Sun Challenge, and then I took a week off. And then here I've been doing the New Year's Challenge. So um, tomorrow will be a rest day for me. So I just thought that I would show you what I have so far. But it's something also that goes along with tip number one. Um, I'm a visual kind of a person. So once I finish doing a day, um, I marked it off of the um, calendar from Lily's guide. I just marked it off and then I come here to this page and I would just color in the appropriate day. So just visually looking at my at what January looks like so far, I am definitely on track to exercise for at least 75% of the time. So um, this is something, another something that you could do or you could utilize uh, for anything really. Um, but if you're a visual person like I am that needs motivation, um, this is another great sheet and it's fun. You can make it colorful however you want to do it. And um, I really like it. So um, definitely look in the description. I will have links to all of these sheets so that you can download them yourself. So I hope that this is something that you can think of how you can utilize it because it can be used for more than just exercise. But again, my goals are all exercise based for this year. So I hope you enjoy tip number two. And here is tip number three. So I keep a record of all my measurements. I take my measurements once a week, every Friday, and I decided that I would color code them. So I know it might be hard to see, but this color here is actually purple. And I decided I would put the color of the challenge that I did. So this was the Linda Sabri, Linda Sun seven day challenge. So this was my beginning number before I started the challenge and this was after. I did take a week off. Um, in between the two challenges because now I'm currently on the New Year's challenge. So this is my starting measurements here. This is after the first week and then um, on Friday I'll be taking my measurements for the second week since the New Year's challenge is 14 days. So this, I'm just trying to keep track of everything and here's my weight as well. And you will see that I take these numbers and I convert it over to here. So I'm doing a lot of double duty with some of this, but it's just more for me because I am a visual person. I do want to try to do things that are gonna keep me motivated and excited about working out and sticking to it that's one thing is i can set a goal for myself and i'll start off really strong but then it's hard for me i think sometimes life happens things get in the way and i fall off track and then it's hard to get back started again and i'm just trying to prevent myself from falling off track and i've been doing pretty good so far um this is my example from the Lily Sabri Linda Sun Challenge. So I took the numbers from the sheet right before, and I took these starting numbers, and then here's my ending numbers. And then off to the side here, I put the losses that I um, that I had. And so here, I put all these numbers up here in the corner. So I lost five inches, but I gained 0.2 pounds. And I'm not really concerned about the weight at this point because I'm gaining muscle. I'm getting stronger. 
I'm gaining muscle. I know I'm burning fat. My clothes are fitting me differently. Um, I can actually feel my muscles getting harder. So I'm not really concerned that I've gained weight just yet because, well, for one, it's only 0.2 pounds, but I also know that it's majority is, is that I'm gaining muscle and I'm getting stronger. So I just thought that I would have this for every single challenge that I do. I have a before and a after measurements so I can see exactly what challenges are are helping me lose the most. I may end up, you know, repeating this challenge again because I did have some great success. And it could be that it's because it was the start of um, a challenge since the Chloe Ting challenge that I did. I had probably about five or six weeks in between the end of the Summer Shred challenge that I did of Chloe Ting's to the Lily Sabri Linda Sun challenge. Uh, I took time off because of the holidays and we just had a lot going on as a family. So I just took that time off. And um, so I could have had this success with the five inches because of that. But I will link these in the description down below. Um, it's to my Google Drive, so you will have the blank ones of all of these if you care to download them and use them for yourself. Thank you so much for watching.